The last three videos I've uploaded have been pretty fantastic. And you might say, hey, Bayo, how can you top this one? Well, I, I can. I'm going to do it right now. Hero versus Cure is the best of five grand finals. It's fantastic. The team kill, the mind games, the macro, the macro, the micro. I don't even, it, it's incredible. Uh, but before you start to watch it in earnest and before you do anything like that, again, reminder that I upload one video in 4K every other day of the week. So make sure to comment and or make sure to subscribe to this channel, comment and like the video itself. So you don't miss out on anything. Also, I stream on Twitch every Monday, EPT North America, every Saturday, EPT Korea. And then, of course, King of Battles is coming up at the end of the month. So you don't want to miss out on that one. But now, folks, it's Hero. It's Cure. It's insane in the membrane. Enjoy this series. In the upper right here, in the red, he is from Dragon Phoenix Gaming in the Team Kill Grand Finals. His name, folks, you may know him, it's Kerr. And his opponent at the bottom left in the blue on a miracle run, an insane run. He's looking so damn good. He is Hero. And look at this, Hero, he's, well, sorry, Cure. He scouts the proxy, sees the gateway on the map here. And I don't know what he's going for. So it's kind of a max max, but also not really, because this is in the middle of the map. He built a Zelda, you're running across. And I feel like I've seen Hero do this on occasion, but... Oh, okay. I think he's going to have a second proxy here. We do, of course, see the eBay block because there's actually going to be nothing to stop it for quite a while. The gateway is on the middle of the map. It actually looks like it will not be a proxy uh, in Hero's or in Cure's Natural. So, probably is going to get pulled because Hero's saying, on a game, on a map like 2000 Atmospheres, it, I lose too much by taking my third base as my natural. Hey, Cobaltine. Thank you so much for the follow. I'm glad you're here this evening. <laughs> hey, oh, Cure, you cheeky bugger. You'll love it. We got the gas deal. Ah, thank you, Cobalt Team. Well, I uh, I take pride in my production value. The the dancing thing you may have seen it. It's well, it sh it, it goes away once the um. Uh, once the game starts, which I think I need to fix. But anyways, um, yeah, that is the, the dancing unit is a unit of the race that won the last game. The ticker is something I made myself. The highlights are things I do. Pretty proud of all of it. I'm glad you enjoy the, uh, glad you enjoy all the small little production things that I do. I put a lot of work into it. But this is weird because right now it's just a gateway on the map. Hero has a pile of... <laughs> uh, okay, we got a Twilight coming on down here. Hero, he's pulling out all the stops in this game. Yeah, so the registrar is just is the person that files things. The I guess the you'd have like the faculty senate. We're just it's just the faculty committee here. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so a couple of depth are going to try to show up, but there's a bunker here. <laughs> You're not getting through that one. Okay, here's my question, though. As we see the Twilight coming on down, is this for, for the Darkest of Templar? Is this for Blink? Realistically, probably not for Charge. Um, charge first is not something that we see all that often, but let me see. Okay, we're, we got a decent amount of gas, but it will, okay, we'll just be for Blink. Thank you, Mr. Constant A Mover, for 100 bits for Hero and Beomulf Mutual Love. Well, that's fair. I love myself and I love Hero as well. <laughs> the Reaper gets on out for now. And Link is on the ways. The Reaper got, it, it, No, no cure. You're not, no. Why, why are you checking here? He's gonna find it anyways. We're gonna see the gateway and the, the chronoed twilight. Okay, he's like, uh. Hero, 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 hero. Don't you know better than to try to shenanigan shenaniganize me? 
I, the online warrior who have killed many Protoss players. So we should be ready for this. How many gates are we on right now? It's three gate. Uh, wait, was there a fourth gate in... Yeah, those, this is just three gate right now. We got a Wind of Mine drop coming on in from Cure as well. And remember, th th this is... I don't... I have... Actually, I have no idea why he, why he proxied it like he did. Because this is just your standard three gate blink with a third base behind it. I mean, weird opener, sure. And Hero is pretty vulnerable to losing a lot of his production. Because he is two gateways on the map right now. But... There's a third base behind this. Maybe it's a little bit slower, but it's just three gate blink. I don't, I have, it doesn't make sense to me that he proxied that because 99 games out of 100 and certainly in any game where there's no Stargate, this will of course be, just, it's always going to be blink here. Now we're going to see the Stalkers run on in, but the SCV repair is going to be in time. The Adepts, the Shade on in to eat the shots, but it's just not going to be enough. A couple of Marines, they start to fall. And now the SCVs, they, again, they start to fall a little bit, but I, I don't see Hero breaking this. Yeah, I was kind of expecting Invisible Men as well. She's sandwiched in PJ Vindahoos, but the answer was no. As a couple more gateways get added on in. This medevac drop on the backsides. Again, it's kind of been dealt with as we see the drop going on in right now. As I say that, does Hero have the pull? He does! Yes, he does. Okay. No massive downtown shot like we saw against Gumio, and the Stalker's going to be able to blink on out of that. Oh, okay. Well, we'll go down. And two probes. So, yeah, you get the medevac, but you lose the Stalker. You lose two probes. Not the end of the world. I cannot make the Immortal do the floss. I have recorded, or actually, uh, shout out to um, the StarCraft Observer who has done these. And actually, they're available as stickers on Giphy as well if you want to jazz up your social media posts, your Instagram, whatever. Uh, but he made them, and he just matted out the actual default StarCraft dances. So I'm, I'm not equipped to uh, do the bones and render out and animate um, new things. I'm not that good. I can do the technical side of things, but I'm not that artistic. Yes, and shenanigans is the proper term. Cheese sandwich. It is actually a word. But here behind this, he's got his third base up. He's up 20 workers. Um, and Kira wants to go for that quote unquote 730 timing, but it's going to be late because of how things started out here. And that's going to be pretty good for Hero, right? Because his plus one armor is going to be done in time for the push. Uh, he's going to have, I mean, he's got tons of charge lots. He will continue to have more, but he's on five gas. So he's moving into things. And most importantly, look at this. He's moving into storm. He is channeling his inner classic in this game. And you love, you love to see it. Yeah. Uh, and it does appear that Kier thinks that this is DT play. He's got a Raven out as chat wonderfully noticed, but also he's building some missile turrets in the main base as natural. He is worried about the DT counterattack. But it's not a DT counterattack. This is just Charge Lot Archon Storm. And Hero's, uh, the one thing I'm worried about is Hero has been... Uh, he, he's died before to getting a fourth base really quickly. And then the Terran push just kind of killing him. So I don't know that Hero needs this fourth base. But certainly if he holds the push, he's going to be in a fantastic spot here. Army supplies are very equal. Storm done in seven seconds. Folks, there is no Ghost Academy. There will be no Ghost in this game and Storm. Now, actually, the big thing is actually there's no War Prism, so Storm's not going to come from a weird angle. Zealous looking to run on in, but Widow Mines, they do a burrow on up for and now. It's actually... Oh, I missed that. The Raven took a lot of damage here. Storm 1 going down. Storm 2 going down. This army is so low and the Raven dies as well, so no auto turrets, no armor shredder missiles, nothing like that. Now, Zealous looking to run on in, get on top of these Widow Mines. Starks pulling on forward. One tank goes down. Second one goes down. Bio says, well, maybe... Maybe we can take this base down. That's going to be a kill, not a cancel. So Hero will lose his fourth base. But the question now is how much damage does Cure take to this army on the backs? They're actually doing a pretty good damn good job here of Micro and kiting on backwards. But now the stocks blink on forward. Medivacs, they start to fall. So you can't really do that anymore. You don't have infinite stims anymore. And Hero holds. He loses his base, but he knocks down a lot of Cure's army. And now here comes the counter attack. Plus two armor, about halfway done. Archon's on the way. We still have, I think, some storms in this army. At least one High Templar in the War Prism. And this is a very low army. One storm is going to evaporate things. Cure looking for the pre split is still... <laughs> Look at it all go down. It's dead. But Hero's army, a lot of his zealous. They're wiping out here as well. Force fields are decent. Widowmine's going to knock down 
an Archon, but there's still two, um, there are still two more there, and Hero just says, I can't do it anymore. GG Hero continues dominance. He takes game one. Hi, folks. I love Hero. Hero wins this series. I am going to tattoo his name across my... I'm, I'm not going to tattoo my game name across my forehead before someone clips that and posts it to Reddit. I'm not going to do it. But if I was the kind of person that, that would, I would. I, yeah. I don't know. In the bottom left here. In the right. He's down one. He had a pretty nice opener, but he's still down one. For Dragon Phoenix Gaming, it's Cure. And in the upper right, in the blue, he's looking damn disgustingly good in this team kill. It's Hero. <laughs> uh, no, Guitar King, you're thinking of a different player. That is parting that twists the, the unspeakable thing. This is just Hero. He plays a more refined scenario. He just uh, comes up behind you and twists you into a pretzel. And I think maybe uh, the unspeakable thing also gets twisted. But it's a byproduct of the... Um... <laughs> there we go, Guitar King. And in fairness, yeah, like that is not a bet I wanted to make because uh, realistically, I think Hero... I don't know that he's favored necessarily. I think these players are pretty evenly matched, but Hero's playing damn good right now. So it's not a, well, you know, if Bronze Leaguer number 27 knocks down Classic, I'll do this because it'd be so out of the ordinary. No. This player's like 50 50. Mm, get an henna on my arm. Also not happening, but thank you for the suggestion there, Corn Muscles. <laughs> But interestingly, uh, Hero actually getting a Zealot early on. Now, Trap has been rather vocal about believing that you should go and get a Zealot early game. Rig Ooh, line of sight play. It's nice, it's fancy, but Zealot still dies. Um, Trap has been rather vocal about saying you should just get, uh, you should put a Zealot in the production tab regardless of what happens. If you don't need it, that's fine. If you do need it, well, it's good to have it already on the way. Uh, in this game, Hero just kind of got it anyways because he wanted to put pressure across the map and actually... Reaper gives up. He says, look, I've wasted your time enough. The bunker's going to go down. I'm going to be fine. So there, there we go. That's good. I mean, top 10 Terran in the world in current form. Uh, we say Ryung is that. I I mean, look, look. so you got Mar Maru, you got Clem. Returns to the top Terrans. You got Maru, Clem, Hero, Marine. Cure. Maybe beyond it, five. I mean, it's not any particular order. And it's got to be Ryung. I, I, maybe I'm blanking on someone, but I, I, yeah, I, I, you got to put Ryung at like number six or like top six in the world, I think. I don't think you put him any lower than that. But okay, the Reaper and, oh, excuse me, the Zealot and the two Adepts, they showing up. Reaper, this uh, this reactor got rather low and mining in the natural is just delayed for forever and a day. Interesting opener from here. Like the two Adept to deny mining is, is pretty common. Adding that Zealot early on adds a lot of wall breaking power. It means that if Cure does not respond appropriately, it's a bit of a problem. So we're going to see the Zealot get recalled. One Adept gets out. The second one, it does go down. Yeah. Uh, Ryung's TVZ is pretty horrendous. Not going to lie. But his TVT is god tier. His TVP is also god tier. And I think he's got a real, real damn good shot about getting out of the GSL Group A. I'm very excited to watch those games on Monday. See people in chat keep making the comparisons. Here is like SOS, but crazier. Parting, but smarter. Stats, but more handsome. I don't know. I'm just going to say that Hero is the distillation of Protoss. Classic was Protoss. Classic was Protoss incarnate, but in 2022, I think Hero has taken over that title. He just does everything so well. And the best part about it is I'm pretty sure he's a literal genius. 
he goes and he he sees these wind conditions that no one else does. He, uh, okay, we don't see him go mask lave adepts to win a lost PvP. That was creator and that was pretty cool. Uh, but we see him, he, I don't know, you want to compare it. We, he feels like Doctor Strange maybe. He's got the, um, the time stone. He just kind of goes in and says, ah, yes, this is the one timeline where I win this game and he does it. But for now, Hero getting aggressive. He's sitting here on four gate blink this time, looking to go for a quick two zero up. And the, ooh, this is a problem for, actually, this is a problem for maybe both players. This is Banshee play. And Cloaked Banshees, actually, they do a pretty well against Darkness so long as there is no detection. And oh, the Widowmine! Someone talked about Cure's Widowmine play, and it is fantastic. Two bunkers here as well. Cure will not lose this natural. Cure is also a smart man. He's got the read on Hero. We got some, uh, some team kill magic coming on in. Uh, as the Banshee finds a way on in. Now, Stark's playing onto the high ground. There's a bunker here as well because, again, you get less tanks early, spend a lot of gas on Banshee, so you got to make sure you survive a little bit longer. But there are two tanks here now. And the gas will fall. More and more Stark is warping on in. Prepping, of course, for the blink on top of the tank. It's going to go down. Banshee, though, it cloaks on up, and that is just so much consistent DPS that it is pretty hard here for Hero to deal with. I don't know if he has... Okay, it's the Observer now, which is nice. SCB is going to get pulled here. Stark's playing out onto the low ground, but maybe not the best trade. But the, oh, okay, it's going to be a recall because the Banshee shows on up here, targeting the shield battery down, but that also means that no workers died. So we're going to be, we're going to be fine. Yeah, Bunny and Dream are certainly there, but I don't know that any of them go, oh, well, maybe Dream goes over Ryong. I don't know. I think if Ryong hits, uh, what is it, top six, I think, after the round of ten. Top six, top eight, top eight of the GSL. I think we can definitely say he's top five. Because he, he would qualify over... Um, he would qualify over Bion, I think. Bion is 0-2 right now. He's not looking all that great. Or his chances of advancing are not looking all that great. Yeah, that's what it is. Hero has the military experience. He uh, he took part in he, he uh, took part in strategy training. He uh, figured it out. He internalized it and turned it into uh, StarCraft mastery. But this game again, we're, we're kind of even. You know, Kira has his third base on the way of uh, third command center on the way. He's got this powerful timing, cooking on up. And Hero didn't get a lot of damage done. In fact, he he lost a decent amount of stalkers. Five stalkers went down. But on the flip side, these Banshees have really found zero damage. Oh, well, as I say that, cast a curse. Banshees arrive now. They get two workers. But uh, one of these Banshees will maybe go down. Those stalkers are off cooldown on Blink. So that's going to be fine. Yeah, I think Mario's TVP is a little bit weaker than a lot of people think. Uh, he lost to Creator 2-1. Uh, Creator played wonderfully. By the way, not taking anything away from Creator, but you do expect more from Maru. And he also lost to, uh, to Jaun in the final match of Group D. And it didn't really matter. It was a seeding match. But I think Maru, he showed up to Katowice a little bit weaker than people thought. I, You know, I'm looking back to the summer where he won a bunch of tournaments in a row. He took down Cyril in that insane Grand Finals of the King of Battles. But he looked a little weaker in Katowice. I can't tell you why, but Kira's now moving out of the map. Hero's got his fourth base on the way. Storm is halfway done. And we're going to have to see Hero look to maybe try to sand th sandbag things for now. The Banshee, one of them went down. The second one is not going to do all that much. And uh, this is going to be a denied fourth base, I think. I, I don't think Hero keeps... <laughs> Hero does not keep this one on up here. The army is in position, and he's just going to really treat this as an idiot magnet. Wait for it to go down, and he gets... It. Hero... That's a kill. That should not have happened. That was a big mistake there from Hero. But Storm is completing in 10 seconds. That is going to be the hold position here. That is what Hero wants. That's going to be hold condition, excuse me. And now Storm's going to get dropped on down 2-1 there here now. But now Kira Stim's on in. Storms are massive though. And the army's got to pick up. It's got to go home. That was a hold and a half. But 10 workers go down on the backside. Where's the ba I think the Banshee killed workers. So... Maybe not as good as Hero was looking for, but now he's got to go for a counterattack. He lost the fourth base. That's 400 minerals down the drain. He lost 10 workers. That's not what he wants, as now the, well, the worker count is a little bit more equal. No, the Banshees didn't get that. Maybe it was long-distance mining from the probes that I didn't see.
Hey, W. Lich, w Lich King, thank you so much for the follow. Glad you're here. Uh, TY is in military at the moment. Uh, Speedy Thug. Right now, the Banshee's finding a little bit of value. There's no detection here. Uh, cannon's up, and there we go. Okay, so Banshee's gonna go down. Eight more workers die, though. Hero losing 22 workers in the last couple minutes. It's not as problematic as if he'd lost them earlier. I don't know that Cure is top three right now, actually. I put, like, maybe Maru one. Ooh, Storm Drop's coming on in on the STVs. I did not see that one on in. So that's on a lot of bio. Seven workers go down, but it's going to be that. And then we can be the immediate recall. Because this is a low warp prism, and you, you do not want to lose that warp prism. But okay. Archon's on the way. Hero has his fourth base up once again. He's, uh, he's got a, himself a worker lead between the storm drops and everything else. And Cure moving on for level two of the aggression. He's going to try to find his way on in. He's got a bunch of ghosts here, and Hand Shockwaves is done. So certainly, these High Templar are not going to be as effective as they might otherwise be, but that's why you have him in a warp prism. You don't want the Shockwaves to, well, until you drop the storm. You just hope that Cure is maybe not fast enough. The Zealots are going to find a lot of STVs in the corner here. And look at the friendly fire on these tanks. That is not, that is not the play indeed. So 16, 17 workers do go down. But now Kira is going to find his way on into the other side. EMP is playing at a couple of Templar, but the storms are still going to be pretty good. But it's not in the fight. So it's not going to really matter all that much just yet. Not a lot of ST not a lot of Zealots in this fight just yet. And we have two more High Templar here. Zealous looking to run on any MPs on top of the army, but not on the High Templar just yet. Hero forced back. He's found himself a supply lead once again because he's killed 26 workers. Kira saying, I got to back up. There are still storms in this army. I cannot take the fight. And the game goes on. Disruptors now on the way. And always oh, got him in a corner. That's not where you want to be here. Kira's going to be able to back on up. EMPs not going to get the High Templar once again, but they do get the Warp Prism. They do knock all of its shields on down, but Hero smells blood in the water says that is a juicy bit of bio here i think i can do something about that but where oh there we go another emp doesn't really get much of anything and there we go huge storms massive storms on the army here for cure disruptor shots as well so he's got a micro on backwards as the army of hero runs on forward and now it's a 50 army supply lead here hero is crushing on through in this game number two but this chaff is starting to run on out just a little bit not a lot of zealous here disruptors got to run on back the micro is pretty damn good, and Cure will not die. Yeah, Hero opened up a massive supply lead, but it was only for a moment. Only for an instant, and now Hero's army is a bit, a bit terrifying. He's going to force his way on forward. Colossus go down. Oh, not sorry. Uh, Immortals, they go down. But we have double Colossus on the way, and... Uh, oh, sorry about that. Wrong button. There are two Vikings on the field. Two Vikings does not an army make. Okay, so this fifth base, yeah, it's going to get canceled. There we go. Hero, he's lost uh, two bases that he... Wait, did we see... Oh, I, I thought I saw a notification that an upgrade was canceled. No. Okay. But uh, we're going up to four Colossus here. Hero doing an excellent job of ping-ponging back and forth between different techs. He's got his fifth base on the way. He's gonna have a he's gonna have a three upgrade lead. This is gonna be a powerful as hell timing coming out from here in this game. Yeah, he kind of threw it away. I understand why he committed on through. Those storms were freaking massive. But the micro was good. He ran out of Zealous, didn't quite have the reinforcements he needed, and he started to run out of things. And now the army of Hero active on the map, running on forward, looking for something. Hey, Cabaltine, thanks so much for the sub. I really do appreciate it. Glad you I'm glad you're enjoying things. Storm's on top of that army, though. It's not gonna kill things, and ooh. We got some lag here. Anki. Oh no. So we're gonna wait for that to happen. Um, luckily we don't have a fight kicking off in earnest too badly. The push is a, is a problem, but.
It looks like, it looks like Anki is going to time out. Oh, man, that's unfortunate. Game oh, he's back. Back just in time. All right, so we got the countdown. Three, two, one, and we're going to get back easy. in. There we go. All right, so now Stalker's on the south side. These, <laughs> they don't want to take this fight, but they're going to maybe try to snipe something down. As the game continues here again, we have two High Templars in the War Prism. It's not, High Templar are not, Storms are not the biggest deal in this game anymore. I mean, they're good and they will always find value if you do them. Oh, wait a minute. The Widow Mine, the Widow Mine on top of the High Templar. Does he have the retarget? No, it's going to be on the Colossus. That was a massive opportunity there for Kira to just wipe down so much of the, so much of everything, so much of the power of this army. But Kira's going for base trade. He says, I cannot fight this army anymore and I'm out of position anyway. Storm's on top of the bio trying to hold the high ground. So the army is able to wedge its way on in. Ghosts are starting to fall as they pop out of things. There's a, the Colossus is actually not really joining the fight for right now. Zealots are starting to die. And we actually are not starting to see probes of Hero die just yet. Now, he did get Supply Block because he's lost a couple Nexus. The bio of Cure finding his way on in on the other side. But we got to remember, so long as Hero initiates his recall early enough in the main base, he's going to be fine, right? Eventually, maybe you EMP the main base off and the recall doesn't happen. But for right now, we can assume that is going to happen here. And Cure, yeah, he's going to have mining after this, but... I, I'm worried about the army because right now it is uh, soon to be. Oh, no, it actually got depowered. The, both forges got depowered here. So, oh, man, plus two is so close to completion. But, yeah, it's not going to happen. We'll get denied here. And now we're going to have to see a recall into the main base right now. If here wants to do that, there we go. EMP's blanket it. So, no recall. And I kind of like Cure here now. I really, really do. It felt like Hero had maybe an opportunity to do something, but now he doesn't, right? He cannot get back home. He's going to be supply blocked until the end of time. He's not mining. He does have a big bank, and he is building a nexus on the other side of the map, and uh, he will be able to maybe make something happen with that one. But, you know, you kind of want to just take the fight win the, and win the battle. I think his army does beat it, but, well, actually, I guess if you recall and... Uh, you have your High Templar, they get EMP'd, so they're not getting the storms. It's a bit of a problem, but here's defensive. Oh, uh, no, Hero! Hero, don't do it! Hero, no, they have so much to live for! <laughs> Two disruptors go down in the blink of an eye, and now he's gonna get a lot of SCVs, but, um... You really, you, you want those two disruptors. You, you really are desirous of th those two disruptors of doing anything. So Hero, he's got his one base, uh, that's gonna get set up here on the other side. Colossus, uh, will actually take some damage from the missile turrets. But Cure has enough money to repair this uh, orbital, or excuse me, this planetary for quite a while here. Colossus is kind of sitting on the edge of things. Stocks blink on forward, trying to knock the Liberator down. They will be successful in that. And while we say Cure has some money to re repair for just a little bit, what we have to remember is these Stalkers uh, do not want to be tanking shots. Just let the Colossus kill them. Thank you. Um, we have to remember is Cure is not made of money. He's not mining right now. He does eventually run out of money. So this is nice for Hero, even as things do happen. Hero is going to have his mining base up. Actually, I think there's a... There's a Widow Mine in the mineral line. Yeah, he's not going to be mining for quite a while here. And EMP's looking to blanket this army. But Hero, he's, he's got control of a choke. It's a little bit hard, uh, difficult right now for Cure to really run on in. And uh, Cure really started to run out of money. Disruptor shots on top of a lot of these SCVs. No, that's not going to find much of anything. Tank sieging up now is actually a massive deal. But now Zealous running on in. Hero all inning on the planetary storms, actually. They're going to hit everything, but you've got to retarget these Colossus. Cure looking to run on in. Hero, he doesn't even get the planetary. He does not get this game. Cure ties it up 1-1. One, one. Spotting the bottom right here in the red. Taking the base trade. He is for Dragon Phoenix Gaming. It's Cure. His opponent in the upper left. In the blue. He is Hero. Never stop raging. The, uh, the Colossus don't necessarily prioritize planetary over other units, but Hero had them targeted, right? He was just trying to siege that one down. He knows it's a base trade. He knows that that is most likely the last base of Cure. So you waste all the money of Cure. Oh, we had a bit of a lag spike there, but hopefully it's fine. So the problem was, it was not that the Colossus were automatically... The Colossus do this in a lot of fights that Protoss end up winning. 
where they kind of get stuck in the back lines. They're targeting a refinery or something. And you need to actually select them and move around. How does this channel feel about Twitch copy art? I don't know what you're talking about, Cheese Sandwich. But I do not support um, art theft or, you know, lack of attribution, not paying people for the work that they do. Here, just extending the series. So the fans, this is true, Ray. This is absolutely true. So now we're on a, effectively a Terran map. It is shorter by a mile. Well, actually not by a mile. I don't, has anyone ever done the math? I don't know what one unit in StarCraft or what like one distance unit equates to in real time, in real life, or in quote unquote real life, right? Uh, maybe it is miles. Maybe they are just really fast. Certainly the scale's all wrong. <laughs> a carrier should blot out the entire map, but it doesn't. Look at this. Kirlian in into Gumio style. He's getting concussive shells. He's getting a couple Marauders. But it's a three racks play. So he's just going to have an even more powerful version of the three racks. And of course, the goal of these Marauders, um, they're trying to catch the first couple Protoss units out on the map, either as they run across or you run the Marauders across and you get a couple Stalkers, something like that. Hey, thanks for the follow, Fwing. Fwing. I'm going to assume that's how your name is pronounced until told otherwise, but it strikes my whimsy. And we all know whimsy is incredibly important, but here are the Marauders and they're going to get baited on out. So uh, there we go. And F says, yeah, I'm going to lose my life. Um, actually, the recall is going to be late, so he will lose his life. But at the very least, he gets the Reaper. That is something. Now he scouts out that Marauders are running onto the other side of the map here. And that, well, we're going to have to see how well that one works on out. For the smiling assassin. There's no shield battery actually, and uh these marauders they kinda run on in. They say, oh, probes, uh, probes sound tasty. No stalkers have been made in this game. Nothing that really kills marauders all that quickly. There's a stalker, but two workers die. And this is a nice start. It's a build that is weird. It's a build we don't see all that often. You talk to pro Protoss players and they say, I don't really think it's all that good. But we still see Terrans win with it, so is it really all that bad? I don't know. But for now, I mean, cure. He gets one Adept, he gets two Probes. He loses two Marauders and a Reaper. It kind of trades out equally. In fact, maybe a little bit in Hero's favor. Outside of the fact that this is a three racks play. Outside of the fact that Cure is going to go with follow-up aggression and we may see Hero lean into his greed a little bit more to try to make up for any perceived disadvantage that he has because he has not seen anything in the main base. He just knows that he's going to see some Marines, I guess. That's useful. Look at this, we already have missile turrets. Uh, Cure is deathly afraid of DTs in this series. He's gotten missile turrets when, uh, a couple times now where there are really no, there's not a Dark Shrine down. There is maybe a hint of one in that first game, but other than that, really not a thing. Eh, it's some extra money that you can spend, but realistically not the biggest of deals. These two Adepts are going to get found on out here. They're going down, but that's a great, that's a great information here for Hero. He doesn't want to lose the Adepts, but... Getting the stim timing, massive. And by the way, Blink is done. So here we're running across the map here, knowing that the Marines are probably elsewhere. Might be able to find something. Certainly it's a dead SCV. The uh, Bio of Cure going northwards. Is he looking for a proxy or is this just a really weird route to uh, try to find his way on into the natural later? I don't know, but for now it's not working out for him. So four stars are gonna find their way on into the main base. We're gonna see a warp in here later on. Now the stalkers warp on forward here. Uh, a couple war a couple stalker or a couple SCVs will go down for the moment. Cure going for that counterattack with those Marines he had online earlier, on the map earlier. But again, I don't know how much they get done. Well, depends on the warping setup, I guess. Hero is not really committing to this. Next, he's warping in stalkers at home. So, yeah, this is not going to get much of anything. Oh, you're talking about Assy Art uh, Cheese Sandwich. I support Assy Art so long as it is not just ruining the chat experience for everyone. But the occasional pylon in my chat. I don't hate it. Oh, look at this, though. That was a very quick disruption. Stalkers find their way on in. Uh, they're going to get much of anything. They're, well, actually, yeah, they're going to get a lot here. 
good micro here from hero just now not losing anything killing off some marines and we just have this random marine hit squad now it's gonna get the mm, oh it's gonna get the warp prism maybe yeah this is a dead warp prism that is gonna be very nice four dead stalkers here as well they got a blink and run hey they forced a stim out at least but losing that warp prism is obnoxious oh hero he's got a bait going on here folks be quiet be very quiet cure no <laughs> oh hero here is a brilliant, brilliant man, but Hero, he's just more brilliant. -er. And that was, uh, <laughs> I did not expect that to work as well as it did, but you know what? <laughs> just can't, he says, there's gotta be something here, but no, Hero just had this soul read. And that, that push that Cure wanted to go for? That push that Cure wanted to go? Uh, it, no, it's not gonna happen. It's not good anymore. Uh, Sure, maybe it's also for Oracle, but an Oracle goes in the mineral line. This one is to guard against DTs running on in. Now, there's going to be a tank sieged up here. Marauder as well. Stalkers, they're going to run on in. That's going to be a dead tank. Good bling micro here. Really, not too many Stalkers go down. And Hero is just establishing map presence. Again, he has his third base up. He's not trying to win the game with this. And, oh, Hero's got the scout. Well, kind of. <laughs> he does have the scout after all. It's like, oh, he's got the scout. But wait, no, that's a Colossus. <laughs> That's not what you want to scout with. That's going to be a dead Colossus right there. But Hero's going to be fine. And um, the game goes on. Charge is on the way. And uh, Stalkers are in position. So this drop really should not get much done. Uh, interestingly enough, Hero is not kind of staying away from things. You generally expect the Protoss player to try to ambush the Terran. But for right now, he says, I'm pretty comfortable. If I, As long as I don't take damage, I'm not going to... pretty okay with this. And yeah, Kira scans that out. He's like, ah, oh, okay, well... You know what's happening. I'm not going to do all that much with this, but armor is halfway done. Well, it's on the way. It's not halfway done. Charge is halfway done. That's the upgrade we're looking at. Extra Colossus on the way. Second Forge on the way. Hero not doing the super greedy thing and going for a really quick th uh, fourth base when it is an aggressive Terran. Although, realistically, if there was a game he could go for a quick fourth, kind of is this one. That Disruptor Shot was freaking massive, and it ended Curious hopes of being aggressive early, but look at this now. Hmm. This is a position that I don't think Hero is expecting, so his uh, Stalkers are not quite in position just yet. He gets a good detective. It's cool. Good force fields, though, which means uh, Marauder goes down, maybe? Oh, yes, it will. And the Colossus shell at things. Uh, Hero's, man, Hero's map mission is just where, exactly where it needs to be. The drop finds a pylon and gets canceled. Doesn't even go down. He gets a probe. Not really all that much. So now fourth base is on the way for Hero. 2-1. All those wonderful things. Hero, he's getting himself set up for the mid game. Set up for the late game. Ghost Academy on the way. We see an armory as well. So he will be able to get those additional upgrades. Well, you know what? Cheese sandwich. People still refer to it as Ask the Art. Okay? Okay. <laughs> oh, man. On the one hand, I kind of hate casting with a two-minute delay. I can't interact with chat as much as I would like. Uh, but also, <laughs> seeing chat's reactions two minutes later is always fun. As these zealots are going to try to find some value, but there are two tanks here. There's IO already, so it's not going to get much of anything. What do we got on the north side? It's a dead probe. Okay. Stalker ran on forward, sacrificed itself for the cause. But a hero is well situated on his four bases. He's got really, really excellent map vision just about everywhere. These zealots will go down. That's. Maybe not a trade you want, you want, but kind of at that stage in the game where the Zealots, they don't feel free, but they feel almost free. Right? Because, uh, I mean, you're on four base economy. You're, you really care more about your gas count. You can warp in a bunch of Zealots. So you're kind of okay with that. And look at what Hero's doing. He's going for all three levels of Splash. This is not something we see Protoss players do all that often because it's so hard to control, but he has Storm on the way. He has a couple Disruptors. He's sitting here on three Colossus, and now he's going to go... No, he's not. <laughs> he's not going to go for the fight. He does not want to make that one unhappen. Now, there is a lot of EMPs, a lot of tanks. Here, channeling his TY. Uh, specifically, that game on... Um, what was it? Death or Death or There we go. Against Parting, where super far behind, but he just kind of totaled up on tanks, and eventually, the turn got to the late game, and eventually, Parting kind of ran out of space. That was the... Inception. That was the genesis of the Charzlot Blink DT composition, by the way. And while it didn't work for parting, people figured out how to make it work pretty soon thereafter. But I mean, for now, Curious just... He is turtled up. 
these tortoise stuff in that deep shell. But now we're going to see the bio look for the army run on forward. The Raiders get some good shots. So really, you're not going to do all that much. I do want to see Hero transition, though, in this game. I mean, he has Storm done. Sure, he's got 3-2 on the way. Sure, that's nice. But this is a game where he's probably not going to break the Terran stock playing on forward. One Liberator goes down. Second one, not going to get nearly as much. Good disruptor shot, though. And then we'll force somewhat of an even trade here for Hero and Cure. But I want to see Stargates going down. I want to see Carriers on the way. That does seem to be kind of this ultimate Protoss composition right now. Stargates blink on in, but there are... Uh, that's not good. <laughs> Hero being all maybe a little bit impatient here. This is not the fight that he's looking for. Storms on the Vikings are going to be nice. It means that the Colossus stay alive for now. Stargates blink on forward. And I guess he does clear out that position. He gets a couple tanks. He gets the Liberators. That was pretty damn expensive for Hero in the extreme. Uh, maybe I guess it balanced out at the end, but did not look good here to start. Now Stargates run on forward. Disruptor shots zoning out. By the way, folks, we do have the... Um, not the Fleet Beacon, the other thing, the one the Terrans get that I'm blanking on the name of at the moment. Um, Fusion Core, there we go. So we will have ranged Liberators eventually. All right, so now the army of Hero looking to move on in once again. Uh, by the way, behind this, he can kind of afford some pretty negative trades. As we still don't have Liberator range. I worried I maybe missed it, but no, it just has not been started yet. Uh, Hero is all over the map. He uh, He's sitting here on six. His six base is on the way, I guess. And that's fairly nice. He's actually just using Storms to try to knock Liberators down. I, I respect it, I guess. And their Liberator range is on the way. And Hero, hmm. If you're an Astraea, if you're a Classic, if you're a Zest... We have really started to see these players move into carrier tech. Maybe into Tempest play. Uh, cr Classic played a pretty cool game. It's on my YouTube right now, actually. Uh, with Against Byun, where he had Byun turtled in on four bases, and he went Tempest. He actually proxied in Nexus to give more powerful shield batteries as he just sieged in with carrier Tempest. It was really cool. And he did end up winning that game. But also, it feels like that is a comeback potential for the Terran. I mean, you can hit critical mass of the Protoss, sure, but the Terran can also shred that if he wants so curious got his fifth base on the way folks we're going to a split map scenario in this game liberators gonna siege on up they do not have the they do not have that upgrade just yet zealous running on it that's just a dead war prism two dead high templar as well here's got a backup he lost so much of this army seven probes going down on the back side that's a big recall and uh for now we're good i don't really know how hero is supposed to break here and Kira's doing that Terran thing. We just kind of slowly get planetaries, and it's it's a, such a slim timing to go and actually, well, to prevent them from going on up. So now Hero's on the other side of the map. Once again, his recall is on cooldown, so maybe that's something that Cure can abuse. He's trying to right now. Do we have defensive stalkers? We do. We have uh, Zealots warping on in as well. So this should get clean on up here. Of course, the superior upgrades are nice. Hero, I don't know if that was an F2 or just deciding he doesn't want to deal with it. Keeping his army out of position so it doesn't get jumped on behind. But this drop, this single drop of Cure is uh, kind of keeping him in this game. It has gotten so much damage. Now the stalkers are getting the medevac done. And, okay, Zealots are going to clean up the rest of this. But that there's a lot of probes that have died in the last minute or so like 15. Look at the resource loss. This is a 4k gap here that Kira's found. He's just really trying to play as cost effective as he can. And while Hero has a lot of bases, he's going to run out of bases eventually. He's got maybe one more that he can take on the map. Realistically. And, uh, okay, there we go. There's the Stargates. Finally. <laughs> it feels like there just kind of hits this critical mass of Liberators. We're at five right now and in a map like Berlingrad that can be totaled up like this five seems pretty nice you just kind of hit this critical mass of liberators where the Protoss player can't really move on in in any sort of cost effective way and then you do need to move into something maybe a little bit more but now hey there we go the liberators not sieged up just yet zealots running on forward and a couple zealots go down but we're not there just yet flanking and storm on the backside not really getting much of anything that storm's not oh okay we're good oh be very careful there Playing a storm coming on in on the backside here. Looking for it. That's going to be rather nice on top of these liberators as well. Hero again. 
He's just trying to find a way to flank his opponent out. And I think actually if he just runs through the middle right now, ah, oh, preemptive storm, not gonna get much of anything. That's gonna be nicer though. I think if he just runs through the middle of the map here, he might be able to jump on his opponent before he really goes and uh, hits things, but EMP is on top of all of these stalkers. It means the Liberators, as they have plus two, they're just gonna one-shot things. So that's a bit of a problem here. Uh, Disruptor Shot's moving on out. Storms, again, preemptively, he kind of expects Cure to maybe engage, so he just drops Storms in front of the army and hopes that Cure is not fast enough, but do we have plus one air on the way? Some medevac. Oh, case. Okay. So, <laughs> there we go. Now we got nukes on the way here, and uh, Hero maybe is going to be a bit too distracted for now. Disruptor Shot's going on out. Storms actually on the backside are going to be rather nice here. Yeah, EMPs are... Oh, those are very nice indeed, but folks, the storm land, the nuke lands. 16 workers go down. And this ghost, is it going to be able to escape? Is there... I don't see any detection with this army. Uh, is there a detection with this army? Where's the observer? There's a single observer on the map. Where is it? Not there. Uh, this ghost escapes. <laughs> that should not be a thing, but... It will anyways. We got a recall of stalkers from not all that far away. Hero seems a bit sloppy in the late game, actually. Hmm. There we go. Okay, now the ghost is dead. Uh, more observers are on the way. And realistically, I mean, Hero's got kind of a bank. He doesn't have mules, so going down to 54 does not mean that he still has a big economy. But he is maxed out. He is moving into four more Stargates now. He's got plus one air done, plus two on the way eventually. Stalkers run on forward, knocking a medevac down. But Hero, he lost his opportunity to go and actually deny that bottom left base that Kira wanted to take. He was forced backwards, and that means that this planetary, I believe this is a planetary now. Yes, it is. Uh, their Liberator siege up here. It's going to be a rather tough position. And we got another nuke on the way, folks. Is Hero going to be prepared for it this time? I don't know, but Bio from here on the north side as well is going to try to make something happen. Uh, Shield Battery Overcharge is going to last not very long. This ghost is dead. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's not going to get much of anything. And this drop should get cleaned on up here as well. I like the addition of the Oracle, actually. Just being able to tag the drops, tag this army. But actually, no, no, they're going to get the base. Okay. Nope. No, they're not. Never mind. Base gets low, does not go down. We're 19 minutes into this game, and I do not see it ending really anytime soon at all. It's 2K to, uh, 2K plus banks for each side. Armies are in turn incredibly powerful. It's all about space control, but uh, Cure's saying, you know what? I think I have found my position as a... Uh, that's an Immortal from earlier, I guess. I don't really think he won Immortals in this game anymore. But the rocks have not been taken down, and these Liberators are going to shell on into everything. We're looking at 14 Liberators on the map right now. There is not a word. Hero cannot take this fight. He's going to lose this base. He's going to lose a lot of production. The question is whether what he can do, actually, with the supply that gets opened on up. Maybe he can make a flank. Maybe he can make something happen. But this army from Cure is pretty damn impossible to fight in a straight-up engagement. Maybe the Stalkers find Liberators on the backside, but we got Tank Siege on up here as well. Uh, the base actually isn't dead. The base, actually, the Nexus is not dead just yet and folks we're going into kind of a base trade this is a much more late game base trade and we're gonna have to see how well it works for him cure his planetaries literally everywhere so it's gonna be rather hard nukes actually going down preemptively this is a little bit cool here jw on the attack coming on in from cure and oh does he see it does he see it here is the nuke going to let okay the ghost is dead i got excited folks i got excited i actually was not able to hide it but it did not matter ghosts are going to go down uh, War Prism dies, sure, but... Well, actually, Hero's pretty open in supply, so he's broom. DTs are getting warped on in here. The base in the north side goes down. Hero has four. Uh, Cure has lost one. He's going to lose two in a second, but he, the big deal is he's going to lose a lot of his production. So as long as Hero's going to be able to find his way on out, it really knocking down these Liberators is the big deal. He's going to be in a pretty nice spot, theoretically. Hero's on 150 army supply. He still has some production. These Liberators are obnoxious, and they're going to keep encroaching, uh, creeping on forward. There we go. But we're looking at a lot of production going down. Uh, four barracks, three barracks, two barracks. Looks like it will be two barracks for now. A hero spending, or here spending a lot of his bank on that. Stalker's playing on a forward, trying to knock down all of these liberators, but they two shot, or really one shot. There are so many of them because they do have plus three. So the DTs are here. How much detection do we have? I'm actually not sure. We're looking at 10 liberators on the map. DTs get EMP'd. We're going to see an orbital go down, but DTs will be able to blink on out. Actually, I don't think any of them died. Looks like Liberator is going down once again as they continue to siege on forward. Hero kind of trapped in the main base. He's going to eat a lot of shots. Find his way on out here. He can, he cannot take this fight. 
This is so expensive, but he's still got himself a 40 army supply lead. No storms here. Storms would actually be very nice to knock this down. His hero getting kind of put into a corner. Does he take the fight against the planetary? Does he run away? I don't know, but it's kind of hard. Okay, well, the rocks are down. He finds a way out. This game is bonkers. This game is legitimately bonkers. I... I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know how to analyze this game. I can tell you that Hero, he has no economy. He has no bank either. Cure has an economy and a bank. But the army of heroes is just a little bit better. Disruptor shots are going to go on up. And now Stark is playing on forward. A Liberator goes down. Every one of these Liberators that falls is a boon for Hero. It makes it much easier for him to take that fight. But Disruptors against Liberators are not very good. They don't really have the range. And six, uh, six Disruptors are good. An Orbital will go down. Here is the army of Hero finds his way onto the south side. Storms are going to land, but again, the army of Cure is uh, it's an expeditionary. It's not really trying to do all that much. Liberator, or excuse me, Disruptor Shots are going to knock down half the health of this planetary. We're going to see another command center go on down. Oh, that's an exposed Colossus here. You got to be careful here, Hero. You cannot lose this. DTs are going to get the planetary, and now we're going to see Storms landing on top of everything. The Colossus will survive. The Red Zones of Death are doing what they can. The Stalkers, they blink on in. The Liberators are doing so damn much here. The Army Supplies are starting to equalize. Here's got a bank, though, but I don't think he has that much production. He's got three barracks, three starports. He's going to have to rely on that one. But Hero, he has no bank. He can't really rebuild those stalkers that he lost all that easily. And we're going to have to see what happens here. Does he make this happen? Another Liberator, I think, should go down. No, it stays alive. What are we at? We're at nine Liberators right now. That is the most important thing. There we go. Stalker finds a way. A salient point on in. Knocks the Liberator on down. Colossus. Ooh, you got to be kidding. This is the problem with Liberator range. Colossus is no longer at range of them, and Hero will lose a Colossus. Stalker blink on in. A Liberator goes down, but there's still shots here. Uh, Hero had the bigger army, but he cannot reinforce. Yeah, Cure struggles too. As, make no mistake about it. Stark's playing on an ooh, nice little interior spot here. Liberators are starting to fall, but there's just no complexity in this army for Hero anymore. It's two Colossus. That is the only thing that knocks the ground army down. It's actually only one Colossus. Hero has lost this game. He made a damn fine show of it, but what a comeback from Cure in this game number three. He turtled it out. He lasted long enough. And now Hero, he's got one Colossus. He's going to micro it back saying maybe... Just maybe I've got enough, but he does not have enough. The army is dead. Hero taps out. And folks, Cure is on serious point. Spawning in the upper right here in the blue. He's up two. Or he's actually up a game, up two to one here in this series. He is Cure. His opponent in the bottom left in the blue uh, looking to tie it up please take us to game number five i beg you he's hero I got a friend uh, coming in tomorrow. Hey, Daemonum Camo. Thanks so much for the resub. Uh, you could not have chosen a better series or a better tournament run to choose the resub on because um, <laughs> we've been following Hero from the first round. And outside of the first game where he kind of dumpstered in a, 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 a well, GM opponent, but not high GM and certainly not pro. Uh, these series have been sick. He 2-1 Creator. It was awesome. He 2-0 zeroed Solar. It looked very good. Uh, he 2-0 zeroed or 2-1 Gumi. I think he 2-1 Gumi Home in the semifinals. And now we're looking at a grand finals that is incredible. But again, Demon of Camel, 20 months. That's a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much for the resub. I do appreciate it. All right, so where do we go from here? Well, Hero said, well, you know, Proxy Stargate looked pretty good against Gumiho. Let's do it again. All right, let's do it, I guess, the first time in this series, but let's see if I can get a quick victory. The pilot in the... Hmm. The command center is where it needs to be. This doesn't trap anything. This doesn't deny any mining. I don't really know why... Yeah, okay, it's canceled. I was like, ah! Hero, I understand that you are a more brilliant and a more handsome and... Uh, or whatever, every super superlative than I, but I don't understand that one. I really don't. 
Anyway, an adept's gonna shade on in, and there's a bunker here. That's only one adept. The question though is, how many oracles does Hero make? Right? As uh, that adept goes down. We saw him make four against Gumiho in that ultimate game three, which was really, really cool game. Make sure to go check it out if you haven't. Uh, it is, of course, going to be on my YouTube in 4K. Hey. Uh, but I don't think that's the standard. He's going to go for two oracles at the very least. Is there any Widow Mines? There are no on the map. There are two Marines, and that's just about it. So this oracle, it, it, <laughs> it has a playground. It can kill as many SCVs as it has energy for, really. So we're going to see four, five, six, seven workers go down. Widow Mine on the way now. But here's actually just not reacting. He says, uh, well, I'm going to lose these kind of regardless. So I just rather keep them mining, I guess. And uh, there we go. So Cyclone on the way. Widow Mine has been made. So it's a little harder for the Oracles to fly in now. We're going to have to see whether this one... Actually, no, this is the first one. Where's the second one? Okay. Looking for the natural, maybe. No Widow Mine just there. Where's the Widow Mine, actually? Is it... Where is it hiding? Ah, and this gas. There we go. There it is. Right, so whether hero will scout it. So into the natural he goes. So there are three SCVs there that he can take down. I mean, there's a bunker, sure. But... He's going to deny mining. Marines running out into the natural, which gives room, maybe, for the Oracle to fly in the main. No, that's not going to be the case. And behind this, additional gateways. Well, a third. A third gateway coming on down. Blink on the way. Hero saying, I found myself a wonderful advantage in this game. I think I'm pretty happy. Oracles are going to look to fly on in, but there's a Cyclone, so... Uh, ooh, nice little bit of micro there. They're going to run on in. They're going to run on out. They're going to target the Cyclone down. Widowmine, though, you got to be careful there. And Widowmine's going to get one Oracle, but Widowmine dies in exchange. The Cyclone dies here as well. Uh, we're going to start to see some SCVs go down, and the Oracle runs out of energy. Oh, he got the high energy. He got the high energy Oracle, too. But still, we've seen 10 SCVs, one Widowmine, and one Cyclone go down for the cost of one Oracle. I think Protoss fans will still say that Hero is in a fantastic position in this game. He's still happy. Certainly. He is still happy. But beyond this, of course, third base on the way. Blink about halfway done. I don't think Hero gets too aggressive with this one. Is uh, This Oracle may go down here. Actually, no. Cyclone kind of line of sight blocked. But, ooh, very low. This Oracle cannot run on in again. It may try, but I don't think it's going to be all that successful. So, folks, now we move into a macro game with a decided hero advantage. He got a lot of workers done. He's got his third base on the way. He's got his tech where it wants to be. Hey, Demonum Camo, enjoy your uh, enjoy your nap. Sorry, you're so sleep deprived. Those, uh, although <laughs> going to bed after those long days. Oh man, there's nothing better. Casting out and just sleeping for forever in a day. Uh, anyways, we're going to see the stalkers move on forward here. Oracles, uh, again, at this point, Oracles, not all that great. It provide high ground vision, you know, good revelations, things like that. But it cannot fight. It cannot really find worker damage too much anymore. Do we have a warp prison, though? Did I see one made? No, we don't. It's just nine stalkers here. And, you know, that's the benefit of having this proxy stargate. You can warp in more stalkers. It's slow, but it, it's honest work. Stalkers run on in, just targeting down the SCVs. They look to repair the bunker, not even targeting the bunker down, saying, hey, you know what? I want worker damage. That sounds rather nice. Seven SCVs. They die. And Hero just maintains his economic lead. We saw this happen to Gumiho in one game where Gumiho just kind of pulled the boys and beat Hero. So, thing we're looking at, please, Hero, do not get a fourth base before your opponent gets a third. Before your opponent moves out. We've seen Hero throw games like this by being a little bit too greedy, but it's looking pretty promising for him right now. And Stalker goes down, but still he's in a fairly decent spot. What he's doing is buying time. I mean, charge will be done. Plus one may not be, but charge certainly will be done. By the time the push happens here, now Stalker's playing on into the main base. They're going to get a reactor on the factory, which actually doesn't seem to be all that relevant to things. Uh, we're going to see the Cyclone get targeted on down immediately in Raven's intense energy. Ooh, that's a big deal. Force Raven energy out means no, uh, or less auto turrets, less armor shredder missiles, things like that. Stalker's running on in forward. Once again, a Medivac goes down this time, and... That's always going to be nice for Hero. He's doing a really good job of forcing Cure to be uncomfortable. So he's up 20 workers. His army supply is equivalent. He's adding on his Robo now. He's going to have plus one by the time this push happens. And all of this means that if Cure wants to make something happen here, he's only got to make it happen soon. Because eventually Hero will just outgrow just a little bit too damn hard. 
And Bio looking to stem on in. And actually, these Starkers don't have Beard to have Blink for just a second, so Hero's gonna lose a couple before he can run away. That's gonna be something for Hero. But Charge is now done. Stark, oh, they're gonna hit him in the sandwich here, but not really the big part of the army they're looking for. Oracle running on in as well. This is Hero saying, look, I'm just gonna kill your push before it even gets onto the other side of the map here, but Oracle goes down, the Stalkers go down. Now, that was um, maybe a little bit too ambitious there, Mr. Hero. I understand that you have ambitions, that you have desires, that you think you know how this is gonna go, but eh, a little too much DPS but there, but now, maybe this time. Ooh, another Oracle being made, interesting. More Zealots being warped on in, and uh, Hero's just looking for the big surround, but he's actually not taking the fight together, not just yet. Auto turret getting dropped once again. We're seeing the Marauders get targeted on down. The Raven is going to die, and that is going to be a big, expensive play. But Kira has his third base halfway done. His STV count is decent. I'm kind of worried that he's just going to go die here, though. Wind of Mind is going to get targeted on down before it can burrow. Not a lot of Marauders here, but Stark's blink on forward. X going to box out the Zealots just a little bit but that is it folks we get to go to a game number five in this series it's everything i've ever wanted hero cure game five it's on the way next spawning in the upper left here taking games number two and three but not the fourth he is cure and the bottom right in the blue his teammate the best protoss player in korea in the world he is hero So, Predival Taurus is game five, and we have several questions we must ask ourselves. Does the Protoss proxy a gateway in proxy Nexus? That's the thing Max Pax does. Does he go and does the Protoss play normal? Predival Taurus is certainly a map that has the potential to go late. It certainly can, because, I mean, you're looking at one ramp, two ramps. Yeah, three ramps. Okay, I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, three ramps is four levels. So you're looking at three ramps here to get into the main base. It is super turtly. And considering how we've seen Cure and Hero playing, I'm kind of convinced. I, I, I would think that this is a better game for Cure, a better map for Cure than it is for Hero. Even as it's, I think it's a little easier for the Protoss to take the gold. But what do I know? I know absolutely nothing. But for now, Cure, he is playing the defensive option, the safe option, the stable option. Command Center on the high ground. He says, look, I don't want to deal with a proxy bear, a proxy gateway from you, hero. That sounds kind of painful. Serenity willing, it's not, I don't know, but I'm imagining that we saw Hero ban out Blackburn. So remember, game, fifth map is, is uh, game five, the fifth map is just whatever map is remaining uh, because there are only two bans. So this was uh, technically not anyone's map pick. This was just, okay, well, we picked four maps. Fifth map remains. Uh, after, well, only one map remains after there are two bans and four picks. So I would imagine that Hero banned out Blackburn, maybe? Uh, although maybe curious, I don't know. Anyway, for now, the Reaper's going to try to find his way out. It, I mean, it's not going to get much of anything here. It doesn't have the vision for the Stargate. Yeah, it does. Okay. So, oh, nice little shade. The Reaper will die, but he gets scout off. He says, okay, I know at least what the tech building is. I don't know whether it's going to be Phoenix play or whether it's going to be Oracles, but realistically, Hero has been showing a penchant for Oracle play if it's proxied, Phoenix play if it's at home. So because it's at home, Phoenix play is going to be the answer. And we're going to have to see how Cure looks to make something happen. And also the question is whether Hero goes, uh, <laughs> the depth shades on it. He's like, ooh, that's Marines. Run away. Run, 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 run. But two adepts can take that fight. Of course, two adepts cannot fight six Marines. So they're not going to do too much there. Adepts running their way onto the high ground, though. Maybe 
looking for something, and they're gonna. Hey, they're. Oh no, it's three Maria, three adepts. That actually can out. They can take this fight. We're gonna have to see maybe the Viking get landed, but no. Okay, a little bit of miss marker there from Hero, and that's gonna be that. So Hero takes his third base to gold after he has air dominance, after he's established maybe some map control. Ooh, good way to my shot there. Uh, nice try from Hero. Notice he tried to do it with the shade. So try to, you know, take advantage of the transfer to dodge the Widow Mine. We'll get the Widow Mine at the end of the day. As a Cyclone Lock-On should not get this Phoenix. There we go. But the Widow Mine's dead. There's a little bit less defensive utility from here in this game. But I, uh, if I take it in the gold, this is going to be Charge Lot Phoenix. It's got to be the play. There's not a lot of gas taken right now. We're on three gas. Uh, we don't have a Twilight yet. But tons of Phoenix are on the way. And you don't get, you don't get take the gold to not go a mineral heavy style. So... This is most likely going to be Charge Lot Phoenix for Hero in this game number five. Putting all his marbles in Killing Cure before Cure does too many disgusting turtley Terran things. And there we go. Forge on the way, Twilight on the way. And a Hero. One of the benefits of this Phoenix play, you can kind of pin the Terran home. You can kind of force them to stay on their side of the map. It's harder for them to get scouts off. It's harder for them to see that you have a third base out of a gold until you've maybe started to utilize it. Maybe started to build yourself into a position that you can properly defend it. So for now, the Phoenix, they're just going to hang around. And this is a lot of Phoenix. We're on six. We're going to go up to seven, eight, nine, something like that. And now Cure's got to be careful because he he has to go for a Raven in this game. Ravens are good. They can armor shred the Zealots and really make them not as tanky as they might otherwise be. Uh, but if the Phoenix take the, or the Raven down at mid-flight, well, that becomes a rather significant problem. And it's hard for Terrans. We, we can talk about all we want about, you know, um, something that Cure should be able to do. But Hero's rather sneaky with his Phoenix position, positioning, and he tends to snipe these Ravens, uh, to be perfectly frank. So we're going to have to see whether Hero's on top of things. Uh, normally what you would do is... Is that three Cyclones? That is three Cyclones. Uh, normally what you would do with the Ravens is you just click them onto your Marines. So if you try to run on through the uh, the, ra the Ravens, maybe the Raven dies, but you kill all the Phoenix as well. And that is kind of a fair trade. You lose a lot of stuff that Hero has committed towards the defense. As we're on eight Phoenix right now, going up to nine. The real question is, when does he stop? Feels like 9 or 10 is really the upper bound, but um, there's actually, we've seen classic messing around with the double Stargate Phoenix play a little bit. I don't know. For now, the rocks are going to go down to deny Cure a disgusting siege up position. Charge is done. Uh, plus one armor will be done soon. And Cure, though, he's getting ready for his 3-1-1. Uh, Plus one stim combat shields are all on the way. And this build that Hero has gone for is designed to swallow this one hold, to sweep it from the map, and then, well, have some fun. So for now, the Phoenix, they're going to dive on into the main base, looking for a couple Marauders, maybe. That's going to be tasty. There we go. Marauders are going to get picked on up here, but the army is not here just yet. The Phoenix are not really where they need to be to lift up to defend. So they're going to knock down reinforcements. There we go. Armor Shredder Missile coming on in. That is the value of the Raven against the Zealots. We're going to have to see how useful it is. Now, plus one armor is done. Plus one attack now done for the Terran. Now, oh, good pickups there on the Widow Mines. The Zealots look to run on in. We're going to see so many Marauders get picked on up here. Medivacs go down eventually. You cannot run from this army here. Not today. Not like this. The Zealots, they are dying. These Armor Shredder Missile is a thing, but they're not dying fast enough. And this army from Cure gets swatted aside. Hero with a 20 supply lead, but the question is now whether he can break the natural. He's going up a pretty heavy ramp here. There is a full wall, but the Phoenix, they just say, we're gonna lift everything. That sounds like fun. Zealots looking to crunch on through. The repair is gonna be good for now, I think. The Zealots, they're actually starting to fall here just a little bit. Phoenix running out of lifts, looks like. Now the Zealots, they find their way on in. And folks, we have a champion here. He's the Protoss one, Hero. He takes game five, he wins the finals, and what a fun run. He has had. Holy hell, it's been a fun run.